update to Dinarans on the go and in the know. October 30, 2019. No hype, no BS, just the facts. Hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on my next post. I encourage you, knowledge is power, stay informed and stay alert, and know that today, we are one day closer than yesterday. First article of interest, Fatah member, Abdul Mahdi replacement will be resolved within two days. Baghdad Today Baghdad October 30, 2019 1036. Al-Fatah MP Mehdi Amrli said on Wednesday that Prime Minister Adel Abdel Mahdi's replacement will be resolved within the next two days. Amrli said in an interview to Baghdad Today that cooperation between the leader of the SADR movement Mikada al-SADR and Hadi al-Amiri will be in order to get out of the crisis that the country is going through. Many solutions. He stressed that within the next two days will be decided the choice of alternative Adel Abdul Mahdi. He continued, We need a successful and strong person to lead the country and get out of the obstacles experienced by the country and the full program of work. This comes at a time when the leader of the Sadrist movement Mikada al-SADR and a number of political forces, the Prime Minister to resign from office, and hold early elections. On Tuesday, October 29, 2019, the Prime Minister sent a letter to SADR, to respond to his call for early elections, but Abdul Mahdi called on SADR in the letter to agree with the head of the Fatah Alliance Hadi Al-Amiri, to form an alternative government, in order to resign as government. This comes at a time when demonstrations continue in the provinces of central and southern Iraq, to denounce the reality experienced by the country for 16 years, and the spread of corruption, and the lack of job opportunities. Next article of interest, SADR, not to resign Abdul Mahdi will not inject blood and will not join alliances after Ode, October 30, 2019-1237 Baghdad where, SADR leader, Mr. Mokada al-SADR, said that the failure of the resignation of Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi, will not inject blood. SADR said in a statement received by the agency where a copy, attention, it is just a warning and not intimidation, you people are higher than fear for those who did not pay attention, I tried to alert him or warning Syria and then Yemen and now, Iraq, yesterday Bashar Assad Syrian president then Mansur ABD rebel Yemeni president and now Adel Abdul Mahdi, he added, oh rebel people came back what we said yesterday, the resignation of Adel Abdul Mahdi will deepen the crisis. I say, not resignation will not inject blood and not resignation will make Iraq, Syria and Yemen. I will not engage in alliances with you anymore, he said. Next article of interest, Deputy, tomorrow's session is likely to see the resignation of the overment. Iraq News Now October 30, 2019 3.38.40 Baghdad Al-Ghad Press. Kurdistan Democratic Party KDPMP DR Bruari said on Wednesday that Thursday session is likely to see the resignation of the government. Barwari said in a statement to Tomorrow Press that the House of Representatives will hold a meeting on Thursday to complete the reading of laws, indicating that the session is likely to see the offer to accept the resignation of the government because there are negotiations from the conquest of Fada and others. He added that public pressure on the government stresses the need to submit its resignation and this is subject to the ongoing negotiations in the political corridors, pointing out that the blocs of Fatah and others are negotiating represented by its leaders on the fate of the government. He stressed the need for the government to acquiesce to the demands of the people, pointing out that some of the demands of the masses is not applicable according to constitutional mechanisms and it is assumed that the political forces are to adopt the demands of the demonstrators with the constitutional and legal framework. He continued that the resignation of the government or sack these mechanisms of duty to work, either from the President of the Republic or the House of Representatives or the cabal itself, calling political blocs to be conscious so as not to go to a government vacuum. Burwari called on the demonstrators to have a real interface and organization and real demands can be implemented through constitutional mechanisms, explaining that practical solutions to be a real delegation by the demonstrators and must be within the political framework in order to accommodate the negotiations in addition to the opposition political forces that we embrace the real reform project or change the government, so we go for a clear vision that is in the interest of the country. Next article of interest. Saran announces the collection of parliamentary signatures to interrogate and dismiss Abdul Adi, Baghdad October 30, 2019, MP Saran Parliamentary Bloc BADRL Ziadi, on Wednesday, 
the collection of parliamentary signatures to question Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi in preparation for his dismissal. Al Zayyadi said in a brief statement received by Eye of Iraq News that the mass or and collected signatures to question Adel Abdul Mahdi in preparation for his dismissal. The leader of the Sadrist movement, Bikada al Sadr, warned on Wednesday that the failure of the resignation of Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi will make Iraq, Syria, and Yemen stressing that he will not participate in alliances after today, the capital Baghdad and nine other provinces since last Friday, October 25, large-scale protests to demand the dismissal of the government and bring the killers of demonstrators to justice and work for early elections under international supervision, and resulted in the killing and wounding of hundreds of demonstrators and security forces as a result of brutal repression the demonstrators were subjected to it. Next article of interest, photos. UN representative meets demonstrators in Tahrir Square, October 30, 2019, 14-14 Baghdad, the special representative of the Secretary General for Iraq, Jenin Hens Blachard, visited Tahrir Square in the center of Baghdad where popular demonstrations are taking place. The UN envoy met protesters and listened to their demands. This visit was preceded by a meeting of the three presidencies and leaders of the political blocs. The UN envoy is expected to brief the UN Security Council on developments in Iraq. In a statement in the strongest possible terms, Plaskar condemned the high number of deaths and injuries during the demonstrations in many parts of Iraq. The most worrying are recent developments in many parts of Iraq, especially in Karbala last night, as witness reports point to the use of live bullets against demonstrators, Plaskar said in a statement, in large numbers of injuries, violence is never the solution. She said, protecting lives is a must. There is an urgent need for a national dialogue to find rapid and effective responses and this vicious cycle of violence must end, she said. The United Nations stands with the Iraqi people and is ready to assist in this dialogue, she said. Next article of interest, Baghdad International Fair postponed, October 30, 2019 Inches Iraq Industry and Trade News by John Lee, Baghdad International Fair which was due to start on Friday, has reportedly been postponed for 10 days. It is now scheduled to run from 11th to 20th November. The postponement comes as protests continue to cause disruption in Baghdad and throughout the country. Next article of interest, why Abdul Mahdi asked to publish the meeting in public, and the installation of large screens in the streets to transmit. Wednesday, October at 10.53, 2019, 30 M. by Samir Obaid after Abdul Mahdi published his letter to Mr. Makada al-Sadr, which served as a road map, he pointed out that he was ready to go to Parliament on the condition of public meeting, and transferred to the people and in front of the demonstrators in the yards of demonstrations, and instructed the deployment of large screens in the yards of demonstrations. He Abdul Mahdi threw the ball in the stadium of the Parliament, and in the stadium of his critics, and in the court of Mr. Makada, too. Mr. Abdul Mahdi will publish the secret and dangerous report of the demonstrations which they concealed for fear of sedition and shock, which came from Iraqi intelligence agencies and friendly countries of Iraq, and from the progress of investigations and confessions in the national security a copy of which was read to the Shiite Authority, to Mr. Barzani, and to the U.S. Secretary of Defense, to the U.N. representative in Iraq, and to the presidency of the Supreme Judicial Council which is a very dangerous report according to leaks. 3. The public session will bear the slogan Ali and my enemies as if Abdul Mahdi wants to say to everyone, especially those who have a negative role, and a dangerous and secret role in the characters of fair demonstrations, and other parties inciting internal and external and their role in the overthrow of his government by force. I gave you the opportunity to repent and retreat not to reveal the truth. But the zero hour came to reveal your names and addresses, parties, embassies and countries that have to do with the scheme of the characters of the demonstrations of the disadvantaged and marginalized and supported by the people. For we believe that the strategy of Mr. Abdul Mahdi has the title I will turn the table on everyone and will not accept responsibility on my own, and decided to reveal the secrets of the Iraqi people and public opinion. 5. According to what leaked to us that Mr. Abdul Mahdi names of Iraqi officials senior and junior in the state, including those with external links have a hand in the plan to spread chaos in Iraq when it was given instructions to cells associated with them to the characters of the demonstrations of peacefulness towards violence, burning, killing and assassination. These big, medium and small names will be made public. Rule point. Abdul Mahdi determination to reveal everything to the people. 
through which many masks and big names will fall which made Mr. Makata al-Sadr reach directly to Najaf as firefighters. He rode his car to the protesters according to photos and news to reassure Iraqis note, I write this analysis with complete abstraction, and with complete professionalism, and down to the desire of brothers and sisters who have written me dozens of letters to analyze them this message, so I advise the prejudice and insults and press come. Next article of interest, reform programs bring general stability, Baghdad Mustafa al-Hashemi Wednesday October 30, 2019. Economic specialists see the possibility of achieving general stability in Iraq, as has been the case in countries that have experienced conflicts in the last two decades of the last century and which are now in good economic conditions, through the implementation of reform programs with the assistance of the United Nations Development Programs. The economic researcher Firas Amor told the morning that the economic stability of Iraq will be through following the steps taken by the countries. After the government submitted a request to the United Nations organizations and funds dedicated to reconstruction, and large international institutions to provide direct support to achieve stability, which will reflect fully on the economic situation for the country, stability of countries, the importance of benefiting from the experiences of the Asian, African and European countries that have witnessed conflicts and internal fighting and the quotation and application of these experiences in accordance with the current situation of the country, he stressed, Iraq has the qualifications that enable it to face economic challenges, but suffers from a significant weakness in the management of its natural and human resources, no country in the world has. In turn, the researcher I. Adele said that the United Nations and the international financial institutions have complete programs and ready to achieve stability in any country in the world but refrain from the initiative without official or governmental request to carry out these real and serious reform steps that would achieve a great economic renaissance if requested by Iraq to be able to fulfill all its financial commitments and obligations. She pointed out that the absence or weakness of the will with regard to the implementation of reform programs, including activating the productive role of the private sector in all areas, has been the most prominent role in the spread of unemployment among young people which facilitated the way to resort to many non-developmental paths, and thus impact on investment their energies in the construction and reconstruction of Iraq, training programs, for his part, said the academic economist D. Ajit al bidhani said that the situation in Iraq is imperative to accelerate the United Nations approach, which has a large number of training programs and the development of youth capacity and provide job opportunities for them as a first step towards the stabilization through its office dedicated to projects in the areas of PSA building, development and humanitarian projects in around the world. He stressed that all these things cannot be achieved unless the views of those in charge of the economic file of the country are unified, as the preparations to start the process of achieving stability must be completed in all administrative technical and financial aspects and coordinate the efforts of ministries in this direction to achieve the overall economic development goals. Pointing to all these efforts will result in the integration of Iraq with the international economy. Development reform The Ministry of Planning launched the development reform program based on the IDMS and the updated contracting system in collaboration with USAID Interconnection Project. It is noteworthy that the sensitive circumstances that the country is going through now require the government to address the development reality, which requires a strong political will to correct the wrong paths, to improve the level of performance and provide the best services with sophisticated systems to her. More articles of interest to come. Hit that subscribe button and the alert bell so you don't miss my next post. I encourage you. Knowledge is power. Stay informed and stay alert. Over and out for now. The Dinarian.